Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I want to chat with you about, you guys can see from the title, a review of Blossom and Root now that we have completed an entire year of using the Blossom and Root curriculum. I did a review about five, six months ago um, in the middle of the winter when we had been using this for about half a year, half a school year. I will link that in the description below so you guys can go back and review that video. However, I will add, if you watch that video, I am no longer suggesting, recommending um, the use of Night Zookeeper to the extent that I did. Because there is a part, half that video I talk about Blossom, Blossom and Root, and half that video I talk about Night, Night Zookeeper. And my views have sort of changed on Night Zookeeper, so um, not that it's a bad program, but it's not what I came here to talk about. I just wanted to point that out and put that out there. Okay, so I hear on the homeschool boards all the time, what do you guys think of Blossom and Root? Is it a good curriculum? So I have done a ton of research on so many curriculums, um, a little bit of a background. We've been homeschooling for the entire existence of my children for their education. So my daughter is going into grade five and my son is going into grade two. So a pretty good range. I find most of the reviews on YouTube for Blossom and Root are for the kindergarten or pre-kindergarten or grade one. And I didn't see a whole lot above that. So if you're looking to hear more about above that grade one kindergarten level and what the curriculum might be like, then this review will definitely be for you. Um, but also if you are looking for a curriculum while your kid is in kindergarten or pre-kindergarten, then this could also still be useful. So among the homeschool community, when you go on, let's say a Facebook group for homeschoolers and you talk about Blossom Nuri, you're gonna get a huge bag of mixed reviews. Now I've read through a lot of these threads and I think the biggest reason there's such a huge divide about like either people love Blossom and Root or they really didn't like it is the type of family you are and the type of activity level and I guess the type of homeschoolers you are as well. So I think a good place to start would be talking about the kind of homeschoolers we are a little bit or just mentioning this. I think Blossom and Root is a wonderful curriculum. Um, we love it. This is going to be a very positive review. And I had one negative thing to say in my last review, uh, but that's completely corrected. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that later in the video. So I have nothing bad to say about Blossom and Root. I'm gonna just preface this whole video with that. Um, I think you will either love Blossom and Root as a curriculum or you won't love it. The reason I think the families who absolutely love Blossom and Root, now correct me if I'm wrong, if you are a family who loves this curriculum and your reasoning might not fit into what I say, definitely share it below. I would love to hear why you love it. But I think Blossom and Root caters to a more hands-on nature-themed family. So Blossom and Root is a curriculum that is secular, meaning non-religious. There's no religious ties. There's no mention of anything religious in the curriculum, which was really important for us when looking for a curriculum. And it has loose roots in Waldorf nature-based school or methods but it doesn't talk about Steiner or anything like that. Maybe even a little bit Montessori-ish inspired in the younger years, but mostly the inspiration roots are more Waldorf. So I found the families that really connect with this curriculum, they like to spend a lot of time outdoors maybe, or they need a free flowing moving curriculum that can bend with their family rhythm and their schedule. Um, people who really like very academic, sit at your desk, do your school, don't often connect to this curriculum. This curriculum is for the family that wants lots of options. They want to be able to do option A on a Monday and option B on a Sunday. It's very flexible, it's very flowy. There's not a whole lot of rigid, there's no rigid planning. Um, it, it's very well laid out and very usable. And I find the families that most like myself and other families that really connect to this curriculum, they spend a lot of time outside. They like to go on adventures with their kids. They enjoy really hands-on crafts and um, 
homeschooling to that extent or they're like really into the sciences kind of the free flowy homeschool family for us we started out as unschool homeschoolers and then that didn't work for us anymore and then i made my own curriculum and then it got to a point where i needed to follow something because one i felt like i was just missing too much i felt like i didn't have time anymore to make sure that we weren't having major gaps in my kids education and i couldn't do it on my own anymore just because i was too busy so i set out looking for a curriculum that would really suit our family's needs that would still feel um easy and adjustable to my particular kids desires likes dislikes and i'm also homeschool homeschooling a pretty wide age gap there you know i've got fifth grade i was doing fourth grade and first grade um, and so it needs to suit our lifestyle. I was also uh, taking care of toddlers because I ran a day home this year. And so it needed to be something I could help with, but then step away from, and that my kids would really connect with and have fun with. And when I went through this big checklist of things that a curriculum needed to meet for us, Blossom and Root hit everything and looked like a wonderful choice. And it was, we absolutely loved it. And I will say, this is a very positive review. Again, we are buying Blossom Root curriculum next year as well. Let's jump back a little bit to the last video that I posted reviewing Blossom and Root halfway through the year. I had talked about how my son didn't connect with the first grade language arts portion of the curriculum. It was dry for us. My daughter would have loved it. My son didn't connect with it. He's very action-y. My daughter is very artsy, very creative, and my son is like that too, but then he wants to move. He wants to hear stories of that. He likes Star Wars, superheroes, you know, things like that. And the first grade language arts portion was very old school fairy tales. Like we're talking like old school fairy tales where it's like very classic. You found a very old book of fairy tales in the thrift store that somebody's great grandmother had. Those were the kind of stories and fairy tales that were in this curriculum. The second half was a little bit different. It was world for folklore, folklore. It was world folklore, so folklore from around the world and stories. Um, and that was a little more interesting, but there were still some really dry spots. And now again, my daughter wouldn't have minded. She really likes that kind of stuff. But my son struggled and he was very bored. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. We switched out the entire language art story base to something that he would connect with. So I just found what was working or I found what the theme was of that week. What is the lesson they're trying to teach here? And I found a story that suited it that he would be interested in. And it did create more work for me, but it was still a curriculum that was easy to do with to do that within, which is kind of hard to find. Um, however, that was my only negative about the entire curriculum that I had found. I loved everything about the fourth grade curriculum. Since saying that, they have totally revised the entire first grade language arts. They changed it completely. They replaced all those stories and when you purchase Blossom and Root, if they make any adjustments like that, you get it for free if you've already purchased it. So that's another plus just on the side. They changed all to be way more interesting stories. And now they've even included a portion that is like, this is what the theme of this story is. Find a replacement if you don't like these options that we have for you to read. Um, so it's more of like a, you know, we'll read the three, story of the three little pigs or like a cool version of Little Red Riding Hood. Um, or you can read like, you know, this tale of a wolf or whatever. I don't remember what the, the replacement is, but it also says like, here is the message we're trying to relay. So if you have a book in mind or you go to the library and you find a book that has the same similar message, use that, go for it. And I love that about Blossom and Root because it's all about flexibility. It's all about making it suit your needs and your family without too much work on the parents end, which is amazing. The only real complaint I had about this curriculum, and it was a pretty big complaint, um, they've completely fixed it. So I can now officially take that back. And it's another reason I wanted to update this video and do a full year after review, after using the curriculum and only this curriculum for a full year. Um, 
yeah, they've totally fixed the problem I had with it. Let's also chat really quickly about a couple things that I love about this curriculum in general. I love that it's affordable. It's not one of those curriculums where you're gonna be spending three, $400 per kid on a, or more on a curriculum and wonder if it's gonna work for you. It is as affordable as they could make it. Ugh, the people who, the lady who's made this curriculum and, and everybody who's like put work into it, they work so hard and they do such a wonderful job. Like I, the updates you get in your emails, if a link is broken, it's immediately fixed as soon as they notice. Like they do such a good job. And it's not out of price for a lot of people. Like I understand that people are watching this from all over the world, um, homeschooling from all over the place. We're Canadian, so homeschooling is different, you know, where, depending on where you live within Canada even. Um, so I love that this curriculum is really flexible and really attainable for most families, especially if you're buying more than one curriculum a year. Main thing I love about this year using Blossom and Root is my kids genuinely learned a ton. They absorbed a bunch of information and that's how you know it's a good curriculum is are your kids retaining the information? Um, and I love that they're, it's so flexible. So Blossom and Root has this setup where it's like, here's the topic today and it has like for the book basket folks so like for the people who really really love to do lots of reading lots of books and they have a book basket for the crafty hands-on kids for the nature learners here's how you do this lesson outside this, there's an option for you for the, like the really like science labby crowd here's an option for you for those like video visual learners here's an option for you they have that in every single lesson for every subject minus nature studies kind of um but they even kind of have that for nature studies too so like it's so adaptable and one day like if your kids like kid likes all of it you can kind of adapt it to your schedule if you have more time you can do the crafty or the outside one if you're kind of short on time maybe you just throw the video on and you call it a day that's definitely how we used it this year there were some day like i run my own business and then i was also doing day home on top of it and youtube and there were days where like, I just did not have very much time. And I love that Blossom and Root fit into our schooling routine. So we do school four days a week, sometimes five. We use the fifth day as like a catch up on any work we miss that we should really do. And we use school for like two to three hours a day. And that's it. Um, and it fit right in with that. So it wasn't like we were doing school for six hours a day. That's unnecessary usually when you homeschool anyway. So. Um, it was just a really beautifully fit curriculum for our family. That wasn't a proper sentence, but you should understand what I meant. <laughs> but that was a huge takeaway, is that my kids came out of this school year knowing more than they did going in, and can I ask for anything better? Not really. Something else that was incredibly important to me was that this curriculum offered more diverse reading material and exposure without me having to do the work. So what I mean by that is their books, like, oh my goodness, I could talk all day about the fourth grade reading list. We loved it, we loved it. I'm so looking forward to second grade and third grade, or in fifth grade, I've gotten all this, the like um, reading list for them. I haven't bought my curriculum for the next year yet because I'm just waiting for fifth grade to come out and then I'll buy them together. Uh, but fifth grade is coming out next month. Actually, as I'm filming this tonight, the fifth grade update is coming out. So if you are looking into this curriculum for the fifth grade, there is an update coming um, and there's sample content being released tonight. So you can go check that out if you like on their website. But yeah, I could talk all day about how I love the diversity in the stories. Like there were stories focusing on different places. There was a ton of strong black characters, which were amazing. My daughter connected with so many of these stories. Um, we loved this book that was a fantasy book based on in Thailand. Um, just so many beautiful stories. And there were ones that I might have missed if I was doing it on my own, you know? Like if I would, there's so many books out there, so many great books and it was definitely so nice to get the diversity I was looking for and the exposure I was looking for. Um, 
but I didn't have to do the endless hours of work I know it takes to be able to find these books and read through reviews and do all of that, you know? So I will always shout through the rooftops, from the rooftops, I should say, the amazing um, books that they choose for all of the grades and the diversity within them. I just appreciate it so much because Again, I said it in my last video, but I feel like homeschooling curriculums kind of are setting the new tone and the new path forward for schooling and what it can and should look like for diversity in our resources and in the work that we're exposing the kids to. So um, I can't say enough good things about that. Another thing, we love the nature studies. We love the science. Um, we didn't get through all the nature studies, but that's just because we were really busy, but I like, it is like season based and there's things you can do. There were some things in it that like, we live in Canada and so our winter is longer than most people's winter. So there were some things where it was like, oh, go out and do this. And it's like, there is already two feet of snow on the ground. We cannot, but it was very easily adjusted and we could still kind of do it regardless. So, um, the science was fantastic. We really enjoyed it. Um, we love that there were so many areas you could branch off in the science department. Like the year was split in two, so there was like one theme for the first half of the year, another theme for the second half of the year. Um, I think for example, my daughter doing fourth grade, she did physics and engineering and then the human body like anatomy. And it was great. And if there was something that we needed more of, like we wanted more, we wanted to dive deeper. There was a ton of resources and it set a good path of how to, where to dive, um, which was awesome. And it's like open-ended like that. So if your kid is a diver and they, not actually, but like if they like to dive into topics and learn more about them, Blossom Winter is fantastic for that. There's so much to go into and it's a really good point to launch off of. Um, the lessons that they have. And if that was just enough for you and you don't want to dive off, then they have nice tidy lessons that um, still teach your kids what they need to know about that topic. We love the art and kind of hands-on base that Blossom and Root is kind of rooted through. So it's very, there's art options. So for really creative kids, this is awesome. I have one kid that is incredibly creative and one kid that it's creative, but he definitely didn't come to that until, you know, halfway through this year, he wasn't really interested. Um, and it still worked for him before. Like there were still enough options to that it was still good for him and he still found it enriching and, and engaging. Um, but if you have a really creative child then this curriculum could be a really great option for you because there's just always something that you could put energy into in art or creativity to learn the same lesson. Blossom and Root curriculum is a completely digital digital curriculum and is incredibly user friendly. It is so easy to navigate. You're not gonna get lost and be like, I don't know where to find this. It's super straightforward. What I did was I would print a week or two in advance through the entire year. So I would on like a Sunday is or like Saturdays are my planning day anyway. I do my whole planner, blah, blah, blah. I'm a planning lady. I like my paper planner, that's what I do. So on that days so where I was like meal planning and doing all that stuff anyway, I would plan out or I would print out the next two weeks of curriculum for both the kids and I just kept them in binders. So this is half my son's, this is most of my daughter's. And so I would just, whoop, I printed it out in black and white because we don't care and we just printed out the whole curriculum and every week I would add two weeks worth and then I would always have it ready. If I knew I was gonna be busy, I might print out three weeks worth or whatever. And the same with my sons and we just divided it with, with pocket dividers and did it that way. Yeah, so it was really easy. I had no issues with that. You can get it printed professionally, but I didn't find a need to. I just whole punched everything put it in a binder that way my daughter could read through the lessons and do a lesson on her own if she wanted. Um, but it just kept us really organized and made it really simple. And oh my goodness, it saved us so much during the busy seasons of this year. We had a ton of busy spots and without this curriculum, I can safely say we would have skipped so much school. Honestly, with this year being as chaotic as it was, just, you know, with the whole pandemic thing, it kept us on track. And I think 
honestly, having this curriculum to go off of saved all of our sanity. It kept us in this strong family rhythm. It kept us knowing what was coming for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it kept the kids really grounded in a really ungrounded time. And I cannot say enough appreciative things about it for that reason. And I know that this year wasn't a year that was, that is normal, <laughs> but it helps so much in such an abnormal year that I just know it's like a great fit for us. And that's something I really appreciated about this curriculum. I talked a little bit about it earlier, but it's very easy to pick and choose what you want to do. So you don't have to do all of the material that is provided. So you can pick and choose based on your schedule or based on how much your kid is interested in. And I find that not a lot of curric not it's not that not a lot of curriculums don't do that, but some curriculums make you feel like you need to complete everything and it makes you as a mom or a parent or homeschooling, you know, person feel like you're really struggling to keep up with the amount of work and Blossom Road didn't feel like a chore, if that makes sense. I talked a little bit about how it really suits our couple hours a day, get school done in the morning and then we're done for the afternoon kind of lifestyle and the way we personally homeschool. Um, it would suit to spread it out longer as well. It's just such a flexible curriculum. I cannot say enough good things and I'm so excited that we will be using it next year. So I have uh, decided 1000% that we will be using Blossom and Root in the second grade and the fifth grade. And I will do more reviews, more updates, talk to you guys more about how we're liking the curriculum. Maybe it's good to do like a halfway point and an end of the year point to see if anything changed, if we like things and things like that. You let me know what you want to see in the comments. If that sounds like a good idea to you, then please let me know below. And I should say, I feel like I don't necessarily have to say this, but I just want to say this because I know homeschool videos is one of those videos that you get where people come in that don't ever watch you until now, uh, but I'm not sponsored or have any connections with Blossom and Root. I pay for Blossom and Root curriculum with my own money. I do not have any affiliate association with them. This is my honest review from a homeschooling busy mom. Um, and with this next year being as busy as it's going to be for our family, since our family will hopefully be growing, um, it's gonna be a lifesaver for us, I am sure. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please put them below and I will answer any of them I can as quickly as I can. You can find the Blossom and Root curriculum at blossomandroot.com. Just Google it, it comes up right away. Um, it's just, there's, it's a wonderful option. And I think if this is the kind of homeschooling, if you spent this video being like, oh yeah, that's me too, or that's kind of like us, and you're looking for a curriculum, then this might be the curriculum for you. Um, but it's something that we tried and we really connected with and I can't see us using a different curriculum right now. Like I feel like we will probably just use this curriculum for as long as it is available and the grades keep upgrading. So right now my daughter is at the perfect age where um, every year she goes into that grade, that curriculum or that grade releases, they release that curriculum for that grade. So. I will be using it for the next couple of years for sure. And then I'm going to save the curriculum, um, continue to get any digital updates that come out for the younger years and use them for the uh, next one as well. So that's the plan. Anyway, you guys talked at you long enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.